As the sun shines on all of my glory My flaws don't look so bad at all What was I so afraid of? Hey everybody, it's Charmel. Welcome or welcome back to Lux Lux Lifestyle. Welcome back to another video. So if this is your first time here and you enjoy lock content, lifestyle content, and self-help and self-development content, then make sure to hit that subscribe button because I do a little bit of all of that. If you are a returning subscriber, thanks so much for tuning in. Don't forget to hit that like button. And yeah, hey you guys. So long time no see. <laughs> I mean, I've posted videos, but I feel like I haven't posted a vlog in a minute. I literally just finished installing my lock extensions. Um, well, I finished installing them yesterday, and then this morning I woke up, um, touched up my color, and then this afternoon I retwisted it. As you guys can see, I still have my clips in um, because it's been a long day. It's been a long, like, week and a half, honestly, me and dealing with this hair. Like, this was a week and a half process. Um, so it's just been a long process in general. But yes, I'm happy to be back like with the vlog content. Between like nothing going on and then like dealing with my hair, I was looking rough for like the last two weeks. I hadn't had a retwist since last year and I just wasn't feeling that comfortable um, on camera. Like I had a vlog that I was going to post and it was I just felt like it was just like random clips and it was just very choppy wasn't much going on so i think i'm honestly just going to scrap all of that footage and just start fresh because i feel fresh and i feel renewed um so yeah today is saturday it's like in the evening time like i said i just finished my hair i really don't have plans for the night i am exhausted you guys like, probably gonna get up and warm up some food make me a drink um what else I feel like I gotta catch y'all up. Like, ain't nothing happened, but stuff happened. <laughs> That's pretty much it. I just wanted to start this vlog. I'm about to get up and make this Mai Tai. I went to, I went out to eat with my mom, like, maybe like two or three weeks. No, like two weeks ago, we went to um, go have lunch at this one place that makes, like, really good, like, they're, like, known for their Mai Tais. And then they also make all of these other special, uh, like, tiki drinks. And ever since then, like, I've been on this Mai Tai kick. So, I'm going to go in the kitchen and make me a Mai Tai. I just have like the little fruit punch mixture and I mix it with some rum. And that's what I'm about to do because I deserve me a drink after this week I've had. Today is Thursday. It's like almost 8.30 in the morning. I am on my way to Starbucks. Yes, I'm sitting in the car letting my car warm up. Um, yeah, I haven't vlogged pretty really all week. Honestly, I've been doing a lot of um, editing because I just have so many videos that I need to edit and put out. I still have at least one or two more videos that I need to edit and put out, but I'm like, I need to vlog because I have not been vlogging. I went out yesterday, I had to go to the office, and usually when I go to the office, I'll try to run a few errands while I'm out, so I was gonna stop at Target because we needed a few things for the house, and I was leaving work, I did not have my wallet, I didn't have no ID, I didn't have no money or nothing, so I just went home, um, and I was like, forget it, I ain't going back out to go to the store, but I forgot I needed some K-Cups for my, um, Keurig, and I actually have some K-Cups in there, but I don't really like those flavors, I'm more of a dark roast, I need something strong, and I just did not want those little light roast K-Cups I had in there, so I'm about to go get me some Starbucks, um, because I feel sluggish, and I just need me some coffee, and then I'm going out of town next week, um, so I've been ordering a bunch of stuff, so I have some clothes out. God, I think I 
got everything that I ordered. So I need to go try that stuff on. So maybe I'll come back home and do a little try on haul or something later for the day. Um, but yeah, I'm just letting my car warm up. It's been super cold and rainy. It's, it's like weird. It's on and off. So one day it'll be nice. The next day it'll be cold and rainy and then it'll be nice again. I don't know. Today is cold. So yeah let me get out of here and go get my coffee so i can get back home um and i will see y'all in a second hey y'all <laughs> so it's a little later in the day um went to get my coffee came home i've just been working and stuff all morning <sighs> yeah, it's almost two o'clock <laughs> but like i said i want to do like this little try on haul for you guys um next week i'm going to houston I have some family out there. So actually last year on the exact same weekend, me and my cousins and my siblings took a trip to Houston. And since then, two of my brothers have relocated to Houston. So um, my brother also had a baby not too long ago. Well, his girlfriend had a baby. So I have a new niece as well. So I was already planning a trip to go out there so I can meet my new niece. <laughs> and me and my boyfriend were supposed to go last month, but we just never got around to booking it booking our tickets and stuff so I was like okay I really need to plan this trip to go see them so so I started looking at dates for March and just so happened like the cheapest flights ended up falling on the exact same weekend that we went last year so had to hit up the cousins and the family like y'all want to go back to Houston so yes we added a few new people to the trip this year but I'm super excited and they don't know it yet but I'm about to make this an annual thing so every year I'm gonna plan a cousin's trip somewhere but yes I'm going out of town next week and and I'm one of them people, like, I, I can't go nowhere without ordering something new. I'm getting better with my shopping. I haven't been doing it as much, but I'm going to still shop. Um, so, yes, I picked me up some stuff. I didn't go too, too crazy. Um, but I picked up some stuff for the trip. And then, I think winter, not winter, ooh, child. Um, what's today's date? Spring starts in a few days as well. So, I also was just getting some pieces to kind of transition as we go into spring and then another trip just fell in my lap last night i need to go book my ticket for that so i'm gonna be going out of the country in about three weeks or so some of this stuff will probably get brought on that trip as well but i'll show you guys some of the stuff i ordered i have one order that hasn't come yet from miss lola i have purchased some shoes and a dress from there and then i needed some new sneaker not i needed i wanted some new sneakers so i have purchased me some shoes from goat so I'll start with my shoes. Um, I just got some dumps. These came out, these were released I think last year. But it's just these low top dunks. The last few pair of sneakers I bought, they have been like, I don't know. I, I just don't have a lot of girly sneakers. Like I think I have like blues and um, black and stuff like that. And not that those colors can't be feminine. But I just didn't have like any real girly color shoes so I was like let me just go ahead and pick these up you know throw these on with a pair of jeans a t-shirt some shorts or something so I got these I have not tried them on yet I don't even have the right socks to try these on hold on let me go get some socks I'm pretty sure I can fit them I wear a women's seven and I think I'm like a standard seven nine times out of ten if it's a seven I could fit it I really like the bottom part of them too I don't know is it focus no focus on the shoe not me so here they go you can definitely fit them <laughs> and the really cute thing about them too is that like the colors are flip flop so that's another thing that I really liked about them I also picked up these like little slides from Shein again we are transitioning to spring and I love me just a nice little slide to throw on again you could throw on with some jeans a little dress or something um, and I was surprised at the quality. It has like these little cushions and they're actually pretty comfortable. I tried these on. I ain't gonna show y'all on my feet now because your girl need a pedicure. <laughs> I was gonna, I'm gonna get my feet done this weekend. Um, but yeah, I'm not gonna show them on my feet because my feet need to be done. I also got a couple of clutches, little wristlets. So I got this black one. I actually have one of these in like a um, cow print, which I really like. They're very easy and convenient for being on the go and they're space, they're spacious too. 
Because I have, like, I can't, like, the little mini bag trend. I hate that because, like, you can't fit nothing in it. But then you don't. I don't like carrying around a big purse unless, like, I'm going to work or something like that. Like, when I'm out and about, I like just a simple crossbody bag. Um, or I like a little wristlet like this. So, I got the lavender one. And then I also got a brown one. The black one is a little different. Like, the handle is a little different and it's a little bigger. Um... But they're all the same concept. So I got these. I'm trying to show y'all the easy stuff first before I have to start disrobing. I don't think I'm going to try these on. But I also got just a couple of pajama sets. I really didn't order too, too much from Shein. I've been trying to cut back on my Shein um, purchasing because it's really easy to spend a bunch of money just because everything is so like cheap and affordable and i know people have like their grievances i know some people have their opinions about shein but honestly i personally feel like all of the fast fashion like websites all the places they pretty much use the same vendors i'll be seeing the same stuff on all the websites honestly um and i know some people have issues with like um the quality but honestly i have a couple of videos here on my channel where i'll show you guys how i shop at these different fast fashion websites i will link it here once you like know your measurements and you read actually read the description of like the materials and stuff that they use it's really easy to shop and find like good quality um items and so i personally like shein because they be having everything that all the other websites have except it's just it's cheaper and if i can get the same thing for a cheaper price why would it not you guys so here is the first item it's this corset so i wanted to buy this because i thought it would be really cute with like a pair of like denim shorts or something however i can't see y'all this is like a real corset so it's like it has boning it has metal in it and it was a bit of a challenge to get it in so i got this in a size large I think it fits cool however like it is definitely too small because I guess this back flap is supposed to cover like the in-between space but I will more likely just tuck this part in on the side so that my back will just be exposed so I can still get some usage out of it but I think it's cute I don't know if I can sit down in it though hold on let me try I'm oh, not gonna sit down but I do feel like very so yes, this is the first one. I think this is cute. I can't wait to wear this. I was a little skeptical about this one. It doesn't have any stretch like it's a real corset. It does definitely like accentuate your waist. So I really like this. I cannot wait to wear it. I forgot I ordered some stuff from Fashion Nova. So I had these shorts. Um, so I got these jean shorts from Fashion Nova. And yeah, this was kind of like the vibe I was thinking when I got the corset i don't see how y'all do try on hauls y'all i be so hot every time i do a try on haul here is the next outfit kind of like the same idea so i'm actually be like jumping around with the different brands just because i bought i bought different items from different places but they for the same outfit so this top is just another corset top from shein except it's leopard print i actually already have this one in like lavender and i really like it so I decided to go ahead and order me another one. I will recommend going up a size in these just because this has stretch to it. But just to make sure it fits comfortably, I would recommend going up a size. And then I ordered these black denim shorts from Pretty Little Thing. Honestly, out of all like the fast fashion websites, Pretty Little Thing is one of my least favorites. I feel like their stuff always looks... I don't know their stuff is just really always hit or miss there are some items i've purchased from pretty little thing that i absolutely love um but i feel like i have more misses than hits with pretty little thing out of all of like the websites that i order from so i don't order from them very often and i hadn't ordered from them in a while and i decided to go ahead and take a chance and order from them so these shorts are in a size 10 but they are a little baggy i mean i can get away with them but i would prefer them to be a little tighter like you can see have some space but they're not horrible so they'll definitely work i have to pull my hair up i think because these shorts are kind of big i think the top looks better tucked in so this is definitely an outfit that i will be 
packing and with my black booties these booties are just really comfortable and i know i can stay in these in the for a long period of time so yeah top again she in shorts are from pretty little not yet yeah, pretty little thing and i think these booties are from she in too so next up we have this two-piece little suit it's not really linen it looks linen but it's more so texture and i thought this was so pretty um they had it in other colors i chose the hot pink and yeah it's kind of wide leg i think it would be cute with heels or flats i love me a good two-piece set i would most likely wear it halfway unbuttoned you could do like one side tucked in one side out it has pockets this is definitely my type of vibe um, I think this is going to be cute for like brunch or something. More than likely we'll wear it with like those brown flats and just like a little clutch. Something really cute and simple. This is cute. I like this. You can also tie it. I don't know how I'll choose to wear it yet. How y'all think? Does it look better tied? Or with the like... No, this is this is me. This is my vibe. It is kind of long. I am 5'2. So it definitely drags a little bit. Um, you can get it hem, but I have a feeling more than likely this will shrink a little bit once I wash it. Um, so I'ma just kind of deal with it being long and then assess it afterwards. But yes, this is cute. I like this. I also got a couple of jumpsuits from Shein, but I don't think I'm going to try them on just because they are very basic. So, this one is like a romper jumpsuit, and it has like the crisscross back. And then I also got just a gray bodysuit. Same concept, throwing on with some sneakers and an oversized jacket or something like that. I don't know if I'm necessarily taking these with me, um, but again, weather's changing and just some easy leisure items to have in my closet. I already have jumpsuits, but you know, I feel like you got to replace these often. I also purchased just this little basic bodycon mini dress. I can wear those little slides with them and my jean jacket or something. Another just casual, something real simple to have. I've learned over the years when going out of town to not try to do too much. Like you have a couple of outfits, one or two outfits where you kind of like doing a lot. But it's also important to have just like very simple basic outfits when you travel. Just because I know the type of people I'm traveling with. I don't know what we're going to do. It's probably going to be chaos. <laughs> so I feel like we can end up doing anything. And I don't know. It's been times where I try to overthink like my outfits when I go out of town. And then I'll pack stuff and I'll hate everything. So simple bodycon dresses like this. Maxi dresses. Any type of little simple dress. Sign me up for it. Because 9 times out of 10. It's going to get worn. Because it's easy breezy. So I got this white dress. Little bodycon. Kind of going for the same idea with the brown dress. I like the style, but it's really short. Like, I got this one because I was like, I could throw on some sneakers with this. And this is what I'll be talking about with pretty little thing sizes. So this is a size 10. And honestly, I feel like I could have went up to a 12 because this is very, like, it's stretchy. But it's not a comfortable stretchy. So this next item is not to go out of town, but I got it because I thought it would be like, a good transitional piece so when I seen it online I thought it was super cute um when I it arrived and it was in the bag I was like I don't know how I'm gonna feel about it but now that I've tried it on I actually really like it and it's just like this maxi dress with the split on the side it's supposed to be like contour material it's not really giving contour to me but it is very like thick and it's pretty stretchy too I got this in a 10 so this next item um, I got from, I do not know how to pronounce it. It's like Manier de Viar. This is my first time ordering from them. So I seen these pair of leggings on Instagram. I seen somebody wearing them. And as soon as I seen them, I was like, ooh, I want them. Now they are a little risque. Um, and I seen these a while ago. And 
I don't know. This is one of them things where I think these are like special occasion leggings. I personally probably wouldn't just wear them out and about um, where I'm at now, especially if I wasn't really going anywhere or if me and my friends were going to have drinks any other day for the places out here. But this is definitely something I would wear when I go out of town. And so once I booked my trip, I was like, oh, I could buy those leggings that I've been wanting. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to try them on. Again, this is the first time I've ordered from them. So, they're kind of like a knit, but they are like sheer and kind of see-through. All right, so here are the leggings. I got these in a size medium. And as you can see, they are like sheer. Quality is A1. They're, these were, I'm not going to lie, these are a little pricey. Definitely like a lot more than I would usually pay for a pair of leggings. But I have been wanting these for a while and... I'm like, I'm going to get them. It's also actually like a two-piece set. I kind of low-key wish I would have got the top to go with them now. Um, so it, it does come with a matching top. And then it also comes in brown and gray. I think I may go back and order the brown pair. Now, I'm a little disappointed because this is the top that I was planning to wear with it. So I ordered some a bunch of like graphic tees from Fashion Nova. And this was one of the ones that I had got. And then I seen this girl on TikTok. Um, she had did, she had cut like her t-shirt down the middle. Um, and then kind of like tied it. And it was really cute. However, the blacks are off. The t-shirt is giving more like off black. And the leggings are giving true black. And then I ordered these like yellow heels to give it a pop of color to wear with this. And that was going to be my outfit. I may have to just go with a whole completely different like outfit idea and pair it with a different shirt. Honestly, I think that's really it. I mean, I have some more stuff over here, but I don't think it's worth trying on. I got some jeans from Fashion Nova. So I got like these jeans from Fashion Nova, which I will more than likely pack with me. I need to try them on, but I'm pretty sure I fit them. I also got another pair of denim jeans, but I wore those yesterday. I had to go back to skinny jeans, y'all, because I have been trying to get into this mom jean craze. And I think that's what's been messing me up with my jean collection is that mom jeans are just so hit or miss um and the straight leg jeans are very hit or miss as well and so a lot of the jeans that i have been ordering over like the last year or two have been like mom jeans and they just never fit right and i also got some other t-shirts from fashion nova so i got this one also have this one right here so these two t-shirts <laughs> Um, I think are women's t-shirts and then this one I believe is a man's shirt and this one as well is a man's shirt So this is another black. I feel like this black is Matches the leggings a little better. So I may have to do this one. This one just says bless. That's my haul for now I'm about to clean up some of this stuff and I will check back in with you guys later I have a really busy week and ahead so i leave next week but this week and i have to do misha's hair i need to get my feet done i have to get my lashes done i have to get my nails done i got a wax appointment then i also have to retwist my boyfriend's hair because he's coming on the trip with us as well so i'll check in with you guys i don't know at some some other time but yes this is the stuff that i have and i'll see y'all later <music> Today is Sunday. 
why did i just do that <laughs> so today is sunday so yesterday i went to get my feet done and my man came along with me so we went and got pedicures but i get my nails done separately so i have a nail appointment wednesday with my nail tech and then today i'm actually doing misha's hair i'm gonna get installed this wig for her she's coming on the trip as well um so she's supposed to be here at two it's like 150 so i'm trying to eat this leftover burrito real quick um but yeah let me eat this real quick before she gets here and i may film a little bit of me doing her hair or whatever but yeah let me eat my food i didn't pay for this mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> she just gonna vibe that even better one, huh? No, I can still use it, it still works. <laughs> it's just upside down. <laughs> it's just upside down. <laughs> I know, I just, I don't know, I don't like being in a place and feeling like I'm putting my life on hold. For like, for nothing. For exactly. <laughs> it's one thing if we was like stopping doing stuff because we knew guaranteed that we were waiting for something else, but it just feels like we don't even know who we're waiting yeah, for. Yeah, <laughs> it's like we just stop living for like work. Yeah, I'm like, I can't live like that. Oh, it's just butter. I know, it's just so big. <laughs> when the last time you even had a weed? I don't know. Like a good one. Just like a weed in general. Like with a closure? Your birthday? <clears throat> when was in the Vegas? Really? I think so. That's 2019. Yeah. That's why I'm be happy. And when we were messed up trying to diet and stuff. <laughs> and I was like, this is like, this. like no. <laughs> Not coming with me like this. I'm happy. I don't know. The color was wrong. It was crazy. What do you mean? I don't know. I, just, I looked on YouTube. They said mix it with some water in a bowl. Dip it. I dip it in a bowl. <laughs> it was so <laughs> Hey you guys, so it is Monday afternoon. It has been a very busy day, but I just put up to my lash appointment. So let me get in here because I'm like right on time and I'm kind of on a time crunch at the same time. So yeah. You feel me? Always trying to claim somebody just for themselves. Because that's my grandma. Stick of it. Stick of it. 
We have seven slash bar. No, it's seven and co, huh? Seven and co. Seven and co. Lashes and beauty. Lashes and beauty. Have to my cousin doing my lashes. You put oil on your face? I put moisturizer on it this morning. Why is it still oily? Because I got good skin. But you know I gotta take you down. I had a busy day. I just told okay, well, you. Yeah, lashes be sticking down like me. Just, just, just as long as you know it's your own fault. Do better. Who comes with that lash with the whole bottle of moisturizer on their head? I'm and so it's Tuesday. It's been a busy week. So yeah, I got my lashes done yesterday. And I asked her to make them a little thicker than they were last time. Just because like my retention with lash extensions isn't always the best. Um I use a really heavy moisturizer for my skin and I also sleep on my stomach and my side even though I'll be trying not to sleep on my face it just happens so so we leave Thursday and the only availability she had for me was Monday evening so I was like okay since I'm getting them done Monday evening make them a little thicker than usual so that by Thursday and the weekend like if I do lose some um it doesn't look like I lost any eyelashes but y'all they are thick <laughs> I don't think they look bad per se like I went and got a wax earlier and um, my wax lady was like your eyelashes look really good but they're definitely pretty full from what I'm used to and then I just feel like they're kind of heavy like not heavy heavy but I could just see that shadow and it's driving me a little crazy and the crazy part is that I'm not even losing no lashes like usually the first day I'm not gonna lie um I'll lose a couple but I don't think I lost no lashes and I'm like okay maybe I shouldn't have gone this thick but it is what it is my eyes have just been feeling a little irritated um I think just because it's more than what I'm used to and then on top of that like I get really watery eyes and sometimes the tape underneath irritates me so yeah this is what we working with I took like an allergy pill just to kind of help me hopefully it'll kind of like relax me a little bit but it's definitely feeling um i'm getting more used to it than i was last night i feel like last night my lashes were my eyes were just really irritated today has been a little better but it's just this shadow is killing me <laughs> but yeah it's tuesday today honestly has been kind of busy too i did i had to retwist my man's hair and also had a wax appointment and i was working and it's four in the afternoon now and I decided I want to start getting my outfits together like I showed you guys my clothes and for the most part I have everything kind of like I have all my outfits like sectioned off in the little bags but um I don't think I showed you guys the other stuff that came so my other shoes so those um why can't I talk? So those one like mesh leggings. Remember I told you guys I was going to cut this shirt here. And I had ordered these yellow heels to go with it. I wanted some yellow because uh, since the pants are black, um, the t-shirt is black. I thought like a yellow shoe would make the yellow in the top pop. So I ordered these sandals and I don't know how I feel about them um well actually two things so it's kind of like three things so for one i haven't bought like a chunky heel like this in a while but since i know we're going to be going out i decided to go with a more chunkier heel just because if you don't know like a lot of people think like shoe comfort or heel comfort is in like the height of the heel and that does play somewhat of a part in it but it's also like the platform like so heels like this where you see it's like a really thin platform um, and it's just basically all heel and the balls of your feet is on the ground. These, I wore these, I've only worn these one time and I wore them to dinner and I was struggling. Like normally if I do a shoe like this, I know I'm going to be going somewhere and I'm going to be sitting down. But these hurt. <laughs> so I didn't want to get a stylish shoe that was like... A single sole I think that's what it's called um so I was like let me get something that's a little more platform just because more than likely it'll be more comfortable to walk in and they're not that bad but this little strap right here mm, is not really giving me the support that I, I really want I don't know I just feel like I may be setting myself up for failure if I were to wear these on top of that the little strappy part it's like 
my ankle is like in an in-between size so it's like if I wrap it all the way it doesn't fit but if I wrap it like if I don't do the last wrap it's too much band left if that makes sense let me show y'all mm, basically it's not enough this is so ghetto so this is just not enough slack for the ankle like when i put them on i'm like oh they're cute but it's just not enough slack for the ankle um and then if i do it like midway i feel like it's gonna be too much strap left and part of me is just feeling like I don't even want to take these shoes no more. Maybe I can do this shirt too and then just choose a completely different heel altogether. But I don't know. At this point, like I said, I'm kind of over it. So whatever it's going to be, it's going to be. But I will check back in with you guys. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I'll talk to y'all later. <laughs> all right you guys so it is thursday um we are actually flying out today so it's gonna be the end of this vlog and then um i'm gonna start some new footage for the trip which will be in the following vlog but yeah y'all i'm excited but i'm tired it was a really busy week like I was literally in and out of the house all week and I'm one of the people I hate like going in and out of the house like when I'm out I want to do everything and when I'm home I just want to stay home um but whatever we made it <laughs> uh so yeah I'm pretty much all packed up I got my nails done yesterday I don't know if my camera is gonna focus y'all I don't know if y'all know I dropped my camera it's my good camera <laughs> um and it's, it works, but like my viewfinder is flipped up. And then I feel like I've been having issues with the focus ever since I dropped it. But but yeah, thank you all so much for watching. And definitely stay tuned for this Houston trip. 
Um, my cousin and Nisha, they're actually here now. So we're going to pregame a little bit before we head to this airport. And I'll see y'all in the next video.